uh, our group subscribers uh, went up uh, by 3.4% to 231 million subscribers. Um, revenue was down just below 5% to 69.2 billion rand. Um, excitingly about, uh, something we're excited about is the growth in the revenue data of 21.3%. Uh, despite some of the challenges which we will discuss, uh, to 15.4 billion rand. Um, EBITDA margin down 2.6 percentage points to 43.7%. Uh, uh, headline earnings per share down 10.3% uh, to um, 6.54 cents. Um, and we're pleased to announce an interim dividend uh, up just below 8% um, of uh, 480 cents. Focusing on, on, on South Africa, we really believe that South Africa is now in a better position to improve its performance. We saw subscriber growth of 1.8%, revenue down uh, by 1.4%, um, but EBITDA margins up by 2.3%, uh, and CAPEX up uh, just about 134%. We've seen good subscriber growth in the prepaid segment supported by competitive voice offerings um, the consolidation of uh, AfroHost uh, supported data growth, which is up, uh, data revenue growth, which is up uh, just, just about 27%. Unfortunately, lower handset sales um, uh, impacted in terms of so our subscriber, data subscribers, which is only up uh, 18%. We would have hoped that that number would have been much higher than uh, what we achieved. And we've continued to focus on, on internet services, um, including uh, Music Plus, which now uh, have over, we have now about uh, 9.3 million users. Um, as indicated before, we launched um, Internet of Things to drive machine-to-machine uh, uh, -machine, uh, services, um, and the staff rationalization process has been completed, and we have seen very good cost control in this operation. Uh, we continue to focus on um, the call center uh, performance where we had some challenges as a direct result uh, of industrial action. Um, also focusing on ensuring that the self service portals and the retail experience uh, continue to improve. We have seen very good improvement as far as the network performance is concerned in the Western Cape and we are now, no now focusing on the network in the Gauteng area. We have added um, about 1,900 uh, 3G sites and about 1,900 um, LTE sites. Um, and as we have also completed about 80% of spectrum refarming, uh, which has really maximized uh, spectral efficiency. CAPEX rollout is on track, um, and we, still are, uh, uh, we are still on, 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 on track to be able to, to provide um, the best in class data services. So looking ahead, um, we want to continue to deliver on our strategy and we maintain our absolute growth dividend uh, between 5 and 15 percent. Uh, we will look at opportunistic um, share buybacks uh, and we'll continue to seek value creative um, opportunities. Uh, we'll continue to focus uh, on our customer experience initiatives uh, but with a significant uh, focus in ensuring that we are able to uh, take advantage of the uh, growth uh, in the data field and be able to monetize data uh, effectively um, through uh, improved value and segmentation offers through the different um, uh, segments through use of uh, uh, customer analytics. Uh, we'll continue to focus on improving our processes and organizational uh, effectiveness. We we'll look for opportunities for further commercialization um, uh, of tower uh, infrastructure and as indicated earlier on we, will, uh, we would like to see uh, the, the conclusion of the rollout in Cameroon, Benin and the management companies of, of Project Next. Um, growing data revenue as I've said uh, an important part um, of, of our focus going forward uh, looking at smartphone and 3G penetration and also um, uh, focusing on making sure that we have pricing strategies uh, that will 
continue to focus us or enable us uh, to grow uh, revenues, uh, specifically in, in Nigeria and the, uh, mid, the mid-size um, opcos. Uh, mobile money uh, has been a, 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 an important part of our strategies and it continues to be. Uh, a lot more effort um, is going to be put in to ensure that we are able to extend mobile money and the financial services ecosystem. Um, the rollout of e-commerce um, offerings uh, in our partnership um, uh, with Rocket also continues to be an important part uh, of our strategy and it is really the integration of the payment uh, or mobile money uh, platform with uh, the e-commerce platform that's going to be an important part um, of, of um, our strategy in creating um, that ecosystem that will also enable us to, to, to have a, a payment uh, method for, for other um, internet services. We will continue to focus on ensuring that um, we are able to innovate, uh, especially in, in, in the new uh, businesses um, and continue to share best practices um, across the group uh, with increases um, in, in standardization, especially on the customer facing side. Over the past few years, I think we've been quite um, successful in uh, implementing standardization initiatives um, on the technology and on the system side um, and with Project Next um, on the back office side and now the focus is on the front end or the consumer and customer facing uh, parts of our business. Um, in terms of uh, net subscribers, um, we're just slightly adjusting some of the, uh, the, the targets from, 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 from the March guidance um, for South Africa coming down to about 1.8 million, um, Iran coming down to about 1.6 based on the performance in the first half of the year. Um, uh, and that will take our total from 7.2 million um, to 16.75 uh, million and we believe it's a, it's a target that we will be able to achieve. Um, and there are no changes as far as um, the CAPEX um, uh, budget is concerned. Uh, we will still look, we're still looking at uh, spending just below um, 30 billion rands, um, driven quite um, extensively by our um, investment in, in, in the South African uh, network. Uh, 